No, your skin. Are you wearing? Are you even using your retinas? You haven't. No. I can tell. <laughs> yeah, no, jokes aside, I, t I, you know, I totally can tell. So, you know, I don't really on. like using retinoids because I find my skin peels with them. Which one do you use? Are well, we? no, I wasn't using that one. I was using so a... So, the prescription strength one is far too strong for most oh, okay. Irish skin. Hold that for a minute. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so, I, I always know somebody who isn't using it. So, how can or you tell? See, see all these little enlarged oil glands there that have sort of central divots in them? Yeah. And your, your face has become, you know, just the texture around here. See the side here? Yeah. See this? Right. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and the, the, yes, of course, I want your texture to be, to be brilliant. But the more important th reason that we're using retinoid for you or for any of my um, patients who are coming here for anti-aging treatments is, you know, you know um, future-proofing the skin. There's nothing as potent topically at inducing collagen as retinoids. It doesn't have to be prescription strength. Um, you know, retinol, like 1% 1, 1 retinol is as potent at inducing collagen as the prescription strength. The prescription strength is just better at acne. So okay. don't use it anymore. It is too strong. I've, I've never been able to tolerate the prescription yeah. strength. Go down to using, I'll give you one today. Okay. Um, and, 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 you know, really do commit to doing it every night for the next six weeks. Okay. And you'll see the difference. And if you don't, okay. like stop using it. But um, when it comes to your pore size, your texture, your collagen, um, abnormal pigmentation, there's nothing like retinol. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'll always know if you're using it. <laughs> Be caught. She's such a bitch. There you go. <laughs> so tell me, what, what is your skincare at the moment? Laura. Yeah, I'm not great. Not, I, I use a cleanser and then I'll use. Do you know? What I, I use the I use the SPF, the Elta MD SPF. So I do use that. Yeah. And then I'll use any any cream I have to hand, to be honest with you. Yeah. So do you know what? You know, you had your skin in in um, ship shop shape after the right. low acting. Mm -hmm. Um. And and the, this it's just getting it's keeping it really simple. You okay. Know, yeah, because I don't like noise. loads of fussing. No, I, well, I don't know how people do all the. I yeah. don't know how they put all these different layers on top of each other anyway. Right. Um, gentle cleanser, whatever your favorite gentle cleanser is. So it doesn't and have to be anything specific. One. No, like my favorites are, you know, um, CeraVe hydrating cleanser, Cetaphil gentle cleanser, you know, um, any any gentle cleanser. Okay. Um, and then especially as your skin gets a little bit older, and then the re then you know the, the sunblock in the morning, the Alta has your hyaluronic acid in it depending on which one you have. It has vitamin C as well. So one stop shop, you don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. And then night time, um, cleanse again, and the retinoid, that's all you need. You can put hyaluronic acid on it afterwards if you want to. Um, but the, the one I'm gonna give you, I'll give you the, the, the Alpha Rash. Every skin loves it. Um, it's not gonna ever dry you out. Like, I can actually bet you on it that you won't get dry and scaly. Okay. 